Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an ASUS TUF A15 FA506 gaming laptop. I'm going to show you how to open it up, access your heatsink assembly. That if you want to clean it out, if you need to replace something, your fan, access your CPU, it'll be included in this video. So first guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. So you have these four screws on the bottom here, these three along the middle, and then these four up here. So remove all of your screws, guys. You'll notice this one down here for most of you will not be removable. You can unscrew it, but it'll stay in there, which is actually kind of nice because that gives you a little bit of lift on the bottom case to start off taking it off. You would then use a small flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a little bit. So use a small flat plastic pry tool to finish this off. Start over here and go around the edge of your bottom case until you can pry the whole bottom case off. Nice and slow but firm. And don't put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some things when taking off a bottom case. Just keep it right on the edge and go nice and slow. After your bottom case is removed, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it is sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you guys need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement parts for this A15 FA506, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, where you can find all those tools and supplies and all the replacement and upgrade parts, your batteries, your storage, your RAM, any replacement parts for this computer. Now, as a general rule of thumb, before I do anything inside a computer, I always remove or at least unplug the battery. It makes the computer a little safer to work on. To remove the battery, you have a screw right here near the left and a screw down here on the bottom near the corner. After removing those screws, your battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as usual, I advise you to not pull on wires where you don't have to and instead manipulate the plug itself. So on a plug like this, you have a grip on either side. You'll use a small flat plastic pry tool and you can push on this side, push on that side, go back and forth until you've wiggled it out without pulling on the wires. Okay, so now that the battery's been removed or at least unplugged, we're safer to proceed further into the computer. Your heatsink assembly is up here. You have your fan on the right side here of my screen, fan on the left side of my screen. The heatsink goes in the middle between the two vents over your CPU and your GPU. Keep in mind this little sticker here, guys. This is a warranty void sticker or a caution sticker. Um, you'll see these on various computers in various spots and you can void all or part of your warranty depending on which of these stickers you damage. So just keep that in mind when operating on this or any computer. To get your fans out, you'll see a screw here, a screw up here. That will release your fans, but you also have to unplug them. So be careful with these plugs. Again, with any wires in a computer, avoid pulling on the wires if at all possible. Manipulate the plug itself instead. So this is very similar to your battery plug. It's got a grip on either side. Use your fingernails or a pry tool again to wiggle that out of that port. The fan on this side plugs in right there. Now also be mindful of this LCD cable here. This goes in through your hinge assembly and runs through your fan to plug in here. So it may be a good idea to unplug this uh, before trying to take that fan out. Okay. After taking your fans out, you can blow them out, vacuum them out, give it a good cleaning. Make sure you get your vents too if you're here for any sort of cleaning or overheating issue. And to get your heat sink off of your chips, there's four screws on, over each one here, these four, and then these four. So once that's up, this heat sink can be released. If you're here to access your heat sink and your CPU to reapply thermal paste, there'll be a video link above. I'll also have it below in the description. It's a quick tutorial on how to reapply thermal paste correctly. You want to clean all the old stuff off, uh, get it nice and clean, and then not re reapply too much thermal paste. So if, if you want that for reference, I, I, I will have that video in the description. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. 
I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.